What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 Wastelanders video. So in this one we are going to go ahead and learn about the uh, inoculation project aka the mission that you see on the top right called Final Departure. We have done this mission in the channel before but we're going to get a little bit more in depth with it. Maybe read some terminals and stuff like that. Get a little bit more of the lore behind it. So that by the time we get to some of the new content, we would be a little bit more prepared as far as uh, the knowledge base goes with the lore and everything. So if that's something you're interested in, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, um, just to let you guys know, I did go to my other character and I brought, oh actually I crafted this weapon um it's nothing much it's just a level five it's almost broken so it's probably gonna die laser weapons in this game break pretty fast um and doesn't help either that i don't have any of the perks for this specific weapon either but um i did mod it to all the specs that you see here on the bottom right um again nothing spectacular it's just a laser rifle and i did bring over some ammo so yeah there's that um Let's go and see if we can even repair this. I doubt we can. So let me see. Inspect, repair, and then workbench, repair. So I need crystal. Alright, so tag. Hold on, let me see. No. Uh, so I need adhesive, circuitry, and plastic too. Adhesive, circuitry, and plastic. Uh, adhesive. Um, component view. Adhesive tag. Circuitry. And plastic, I think it said. <clears throat> plastic. Alright, that way, alright, let's just go ahead and see. That way, just in case, um... Yep, okay, it's all it's all tagged. That way, every single time we see anything that we need, we are able to pick it up, no problem, because we have everything tagged. All right, so Fire Breathers recruiting. Uh, all. I just wanted uh, to remind everyone that the Fire Breathers unit is always looking for more manpower. If you think you've got what it takes to handle our toughest missions and take on the Scorch, then Melody and Madigan would love to meet you. Don't forget... It is uh, a dangerous assignment, but it comes with benefits. You'll have top priority for both rations and ammunition. We ask the fire breathers to put their lives on the line, but we reward their bravery where we can. The job's not for everyone, but if you think you can handle the recruitment process uh, and training, then I ask you to consider signing up. Thanks, Chavez. Okay, personnel files. Senior members, Chavez, Maria, Assignment, Medical Support, Responders HQ, um, Hudson, Claire, Chief Medical Officer, uh, inocul Inoculation Project AVR Medical, at least now we know where it's at, um, Kumar, Sanjay, Robot Repair, Responder HQ, Melody Larkin, uh, Field Manual Project, Black Mountain, okay, and the last one is, my name is GF, Assignment uh, Reconnaissance and for Foraging Morgantown. So he was actually based here. Other members. Uh, this is not really important. Alright, so let's go back. Uh, complaint 15J. Um, did we just get a miscellaneous? I think. Uh, we just received another complaint about the Grafton Mayor's office. This time, the mayor is being accused of illegally solicitating, uh, soliciting funds for his uh, re-election campaign. The mayor's assistant allegedly demands a contribution in exchange for notarization documents. Uh, this one is more serious than the last three. I'd better go check it out. Follow up. An officer was sent to the mayor's office in Grafton. He found some irregularities. Uh, with the mayor's assistant procedures uh, a citation was issued to correct the problem the officer noted that Grafton's mayor claims there aren't funds to make changes 
Uh, we'll just let a judge sort it out. Larkin. A.K.A. Melody. Messages. Has anyone seen Larry Pickerman? Everyone. Please keep an eye out for Larry Pickerman. He's been missing for a couple days. If you haven't met him, he's about six feet tall, brown hair, green eyes, ages about mid-50s. He came in with the last big group re uh, refugees. You might remember him as the electrician who decided to do some unsolicited uh, work on our main computer. I'm sure he meant well, but we had to have him escorted out of the command center. Anyways, uh, hopefully he's okay. He borrowed my only screwdriver and I really need it back. So if you see him, send him my way. My name is Jeff. Alright, dealing with the Brotherhood. Ooh. I've seen a member of the responders almost from the start. Oh, I've been a member of the responders uh, almost from the start. Like all of you, I've put my life on the line to save the lives of others. Times than I can remember. More times than I can remember. Our mission is important. That's why we can't let the Brotherhood of Steel push us around. Of course, uh, we'll help anyone where we can. But you all know that our resources are limited. The Brotherhood's been making increasing demands for resources and supplies in the name of holding back the Scorched. Well, the Scorched aren't the only threat around here and the responders aren't looking to fight a war. We're healers. We're teachers. We're not soldiers. I mean, the Brotherhood was asking for resources and I will say this, the Scorched clearly was... Or at least should have been a top priority. What's the point of healing when everyone's dying anyways or turning into Scorched, right? And it's not like they were asking the responders to fight. They were asking for resources. So I think, realistically, I think maybe the, the Brotherhood was wrong just by reading this. By demanding things. And on the other side of the spectrum, I think the uh, responders were wrong by not seeing the gravity of the situation. And by misinterpreting the requests, we'll just call it that, by the Brotherhood. So I think the lack of communication between the two is probably what led all of this to happen. Uh, when the Brotherhood comes asking for your ammo, your stim packs, your water, whatever it is, think carefully. Someone out there might need those supplies to survive. Yeah, how about all of humanity in Appalachia? You're lucky people are coming back to the wasteland now. Uh, if they ask you to join their ranks because you've got skills they can use, remember, we need those skills just as much. Maybe more. I actually disagree. I think the Brotherhood is more in the right. They're just asking in the wrong ways. Um, we don't have the benefit of power armor and heavy weapons. We've got this training, knowledge, and courage, but that's been uh, enough so far, and clearly not for that long. And I hope we can keep it that way. I'm not saying the Brotherhood of Steel is our enemy. We're on the same side, but lately, uh, we're not really friends either. I think communication was the problem, man, because the Brotherhood could use them, and they could have used the Brotherhood's muscle, if you will. All right. All I'm asking is that you stay focused on the mission, on our mission, no matter what they might ask of you, Chavez. Announcement, Rachel Price. Some sad news to share, everyone. Some of you might have heard about Rachel already, but for those who don't know, she said goodbye to the responders and joined the Brotherhood of Steel to work as a combat medic. That's cool. Uh, we'll all miss her, and we wish her the best. In the meantime... Uh, the few medics we have left are working around the clock. We'll be starting the medical training program up again to help fill the gaps. Please volunteer if you can spare the time, Chavez. Dispense rations. Don't mind if I do. May only receive one set of rations until the training program is complete. Confirmed. Don't worry. Thank you. All right. Uh, so we still haven't learned about the inoculation project. Is that outside? I think it is. All right, so let's go ahead and go. 
So I can't even go this way. Do I have to... What was it that I was missing? To fix my rifle, I don't remember. Can I escape through here? I might have to fast travel out of here, to be honest. And this weapon is probably gonna break, but it's fine. Alright, let me see here. Um, I'll take this pipe pistol and hopefully be able to modify it to an automatic weapon. Because 38 is very easy to come by. So, let's hope. I should have just fast traveled out of here, huh? That probably would have been the fastest way out of here. Alright, let's go. My weapon's going to break any minute now. Should be interesting to say the least. I want a super cool freaking laser rifle, man. I know my main character, um, I was given a legacy weapon a uh, while back now. But, uh, I was given a, le a legacy weapon a while back ago and I've never used it. I don't really have the need to use it. Um, mainly because it's got the explosive effect and seeing as you kind of need two perk cards to have on, uh, for the, uh, batteries included or whatever it's called. Oh, shit. Oh, well, there goes my weapon. Do I have this saved? Oh, God. Nope. I'm gonna die. Ah! Run away! Leave me alone! <laughs> I'm, I'm dying here. Alright, so I'll take all of this. Alright, where is this last guy? Well, that worked out for the best. So let's go ahead and loot this guy and take off. I really need health. Oh God. Got him. Oh, what? He didn't die? Well, this no. weapon sucks. Oh, I'm you not. leave me alone. Did he just call me nuts? Shoot, damn it. Oh my god, this weapon sucks so bad. Alright, let's go and flank him. Maybe we can, uh... Oh god, I'm just running into more people. Oh my god, where did all these guys come from? There was one more. Where's the last one? Oh, I'm gonna die. I think I only have one stim pack and I don't really want to use it. Oh, a plastic bowl. I will be needing that. It's gonna be... It kind of seems... Like it's gonna be difficult to maintain this laser rifle, isn't it? Oh god. This is where I die, guys. The reload speed to this gun is absolutely absurd. Alright, that guy's done skis. Ah! Don't reload already! Fuck! This thing sucks at reload speed. 
Oh god, run away. Ah! Oh! Alright, give up. I mean, I did pretty well, all things considering. But it's not enough. Or it wasn't enough. There's too many people here is the problem. If I had my laser rifle, it would have been easier to handle. Oh, wait, I have a level up, don't I? Sure, let's open this. Serendipity, that will come in handy. You know what else? Um, concentrated fire would be pretty decent. Strength, I don't need any of that right now. Scrounger, um, let's go ahead and rank this up. Although, serendipity would have been nice to have. Alright, let me see. Slugger, no thank you. Nope. Oh my god, bro. This is so going to be my main character. Nothing here. I might put it into Lone Wanderer again. No. No. Or maybe Action Boy, one or the other. Or maybe just fill up... You know what? I'm going to fill up Scrounger. I feel like ammo is going to be the most important in the long run. And it's better, to, I think, in my opinion, to do it early. Because it is hard to maintain ammo later on in the game. If you're not a crafter. Like me, I'm not really a crafter. My god, I had a lot of junk on me. Alright, so let's see. Who was the one that killed me? Because I want to kill him. Oh, I forgot I don't have a more supial. Oops! And I'm thinking about not even mutating either. You know, for... Die! This gun... Kind of freaking sucks, dude. Not even gonna lie. Let's see what a sneak critical does. 20. Um, that was pointless. Die! Where's the inoculation project terminal? I feel like it should be around here somewhere. Okay, so it's over here. Oh, now you're telling me, game, that my freaking scattered gamma wave automatic laser rifle has been broken? Oh, I found the terminal. Wait, what's this over here? What is that? Yeah, that's to learn about the inoculation project. Register for advanced training. Let me go ahead and register, but I'm not doing that just yet. Alright, view available training. Building camps. I mean, free caps. I'm not complaining. If volunteers are able to construct portable camps for incoming survivors, then responders are free to focus on their medical needs. Responder Miguel Caldera provides new volunteers with materials uh, used to fortify camps as well as additional safety tips report to his campsite off the airport for supplies and hands-on training okay sounds good okay so we've gotten the mission tentative plans but like I said I'm not I'm not doing that quite yet right now I kind of want to come over here oh hello I want to come over here. It's upstairs, but if I'm here, I might as well look around. Plus, I think there's a medical thing right here. So, yes, I'll definitely take that. Um, stim pack, since now I, now I have two. All right. 
Yeah, I kind of see a lot of people always using um, some of their perks and stuff on things like uh, getting extra stim packs and stuff. And I always wonder why, because stim packs are really easy to come by. DeAndre's note. To the love of my life. Abby said we can use her bunker for whatever it is you want to plan uh, for our anniversary. I know it's only been a few months. Okay, two months. Three weeks. And four days. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Uh, you've changed my life, DeAndre. I hope you know that. Love, Lydia. Lydia's in this game? My God. He must have been her thing. All right. Shopping basket. Don't mind if I do. I really need to see if I can fix my weapon now. Ooh, a stim pack. Okay, thank God that happened. Oh, God. I still got radiated a little bit. This should be good. Oh, just off. A little bit more. There we go. Oh my god, all of that for nothing. Alright, screw it. Let's go upstairs. Look at this guy. Inoculation project. Ew. Scorched foot? That's disgusting. Odyssey, inoculation project announcement. Yay! Um, folks... I've got some exciting news to share. As you all know, Dr. Hudson uh, has been continuing her research in the lab at AVR Medical. Uh, we've already known this from the other terminal. I'm surprised it didn't update that way. Well, uh, she's just reported in to let us know that she's made a significant breakthrough, and it looks like an uh, it looks like an inoculation against the scorch plague could soon become a reality. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. Our sur our very survival depends on it. My name is Jeff Nicaragua. <laughs> Jeff Nick. My name is Jeff Nicaragua. He's a he's a whole country. All right. So introduction. Those of us struggling to survive in the post-war world face countless threats. The search for safe and suitable sources of food and water would be enough to challenge anyone. But the strange mutated creatures appearing throughout the region greatly increase the danger of day-to-day -day life. Uh, one of these threats, however, compare to the Scorched. To better understand these monsters of the wasteland, I've better spend time observing them and gathering information from those individuals lucky enough to survive first-hand encounters with the scorched there are still far more questions than answers but i believe i have made progress in my understanding of these enigmatic uh and fearsome creatures details on specific subjects follow scorch beast uh scorch beast the name uh, conjures terrifying image of huge mutated bats that poison the ground and uh, warp uh, living creatures into deadly thralls. Sounds like a Skyrim thing. Uh, we first learned about the Scorched Beast from the Brotherhood of Steel. Those soldiers encountered the creatures to the southeast. At first, nobody believed that uh, what they were describing could be real. Uh, excuse me. Um, we thought it was bullshit, uh, a bullshit story giving the Brotherhood an excuse to commandeer our ammo and supplies. We were wrong. Oh, that's the thing. They thought they were bullshitting. I guess that kind of makes sense now. Um, I'll never forget the first time I saw one of those monster lights black winged against a blood red sunset. Talk about a reality check. We know far too little about these creatures, but we do know they aren't strictly nocturnal. They also seem quality willing to uh, move al alone or in small groups, and they are highly aggressive. Worse than that, they're dangerously radioactive. 
which I believe is an important clue about their origin. If we ever get hold of one for study, I think we could learn a lot about them. Unfortunately, being everywhere close to a Scorch Beast is a near certain death sentence, and not just because of the radiation. I'll cover that more in the next entry. The Scorched Plague. I'd love to give a detailed explanation of what the Scorched Plague is and how it works. But right now, we know so little it could, uh, it just wouldn't be possible. Frankly, it's damn frustrating. What we do know is that the, is that living creatures that come into contact with a Scorched Beast sometimes begin to mutate the victim's skin turns dark almost black with the smell of ash some kind of biochemical processes uh take hold at this point lessons that burn with intense heat begin to form on the victim's body the affected creature appears to be covered in smoldering embers in the case of humans higher mental function eventually disappears replaced by an extreme almost animalistic aggression we call the creatures that are transformed in this way, Scorched. Needless to say, watching a friend or a loved one go through this process is both horrifying and heartbreaking. Worse, there's almost nothing we can do about it. I say almost because we have been able to gather enough information about the Scorched Plague that we might be able to develop a vaccine against it. That's a huge maybe, but we recently found some equipment at the AVR Medical Center that's in pretty good shape. With the right facilities and a steady supply of Scorch to study, we might just find a way to counter this terrible disease or possibly even reverse it. Only time will tell. Anti-Scorch Tactics I hope by now that I've made one point crystal clear. The Scorched are lethal. They are nothing less than an existential threat. If we cannot find a way to defeat them, or at the very least contain them, there's no reason to think we won't spread far and wide, transforming or destroying everything in their path. We don't know nearly enough about the Scorch to develop real tactics. Uh, we know that... Uh, uh, we know so far... Mostly amounts uh, to common sense approaches for dealing with any deadly predator. I'll summarize those points below. If you're unfortunate enough to encounter a scorched beast, likely it, it, it has decided to hunt you. Do everything in your power to keep away from it. I don't think so. Uh, if you've got a gun and can find an enclosed space to fire from... That's ideal. Scorch beasts are too big to fit into small spaces. Remember that scorch beasts emit uh, strong radiation that, coupled with their powerful bite, could compel you to keep your distance at all costs. If you've got no other choice, you should at least consider using some radix before you uh, engage the creature at close range. Scorched humans are savage and deadly. While their ability to speak is limited, don't think they're mindless. They retain enough intelligence and memory to use guns and other weapons. And they're hostile to just about everything they've perceived as a potential threat. Fight the Scorched as you would uh, a raider. I'll Bite one with a deadly plague. Oh, albeit one with a deadly plague. Of vital importance is keeping your distance to minimize or minimize the risk of infection. Stay in cover when you can, but give ground when you need it uh, to. Do not let them get close. I know that's not much to go on. There's still so much we don't know about these creatures. Hopefully, it'll help at least a little. This continues my report, or concludes my report. Messages. 
Has anyone seen? Well, we've already read this. Yeah, we've read this. Quest completed. Final departure. Ooh, hollow tape. Uh, Psyche Bell Olivia Henderson. It did it not play. Psych Eval Henderson. Oh, nah. I thought it was a playable hollow tape. I don't want to do that. Well, there goes the Somerset special. Alright, let's. I think there's a weapons workbench in here. Let's see if we can repair our weapon yet. Modify repair. Alright, uh, that. Still nothing. So we need crystal. Crystal, I imagine, being hard to find. Where am I gonna find crystal? And not of the meth variety. Alright, so where are we going now? We have to go. What is this? Find Grafton's mayor's office, tune into WF, whatever. Okay, so now we gotta go way down here to. That. Can I fast travel to Flatwoods? Yes, I can. So let's fast, tra fast travel to Flatwoods and then just head directly south from there. We should get there and at least be able to start the inoculation project now or soon, at least. You know, I will say this, like, Fallout 76's... Uh, Vanilla story is probably I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but Fallout 76's story is probably my favorite Fallout story yet. My problem with the story though is how it was delivered, dude. It's such a badly delivered story, man. It's so boring and bland listening and hearing the story when all you do is uh hear it on hollow tapes and terminals. I know with Wastelanders is going to be a little bit improved in that sense, but um, now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Yep, I believe it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think it, it'll improve with time, I suppose, uh, with all these settlers probably giving us more and more information as the time goes. But as of now, it's not really that good. As far as how it was delivered. God, there's such a... No, how did I miss that? There's gotta be another one, right? There he is. I need crystal. What items have crystal in it? I don't even know. Wait, I know, I know. Oh no, a shopping cart? I can always use that. Coolant. Aluminum. Don't mind if I do. This has plastic, I think. Alright. I'm not gonna pick up everything, because otherwise it'll take forever for me to pick up everything. All right, so let's go for now and make our way down to... Actually, I think I see it. It's that green building way in the distance. That's AVR Medical. We should probably avoid that mongrel. Although it has food. Oh, God. No! Really? I missed that second one, too? That's the thing with mongrels. They're pack animals. Ah! How many are left? I think that's everybody. Good. Let's go ahead and take all of that and then just take off, dude. 
Run for it. I'm pretty sure that is AVR medical, man. Does, uh... I don't know. I'm not gonna pick up any of the uh, rad stag stuff. Wait, hold on. No! Alright, what weapons do I have? So just the scattered thing favorited. At some point I need to go to a workbench and see if I even have an automatic barrel for my weapon. I might just use this single shot though until I find my first rank of commando. <sighs> Alright, looks like there's a train station right here. We should probably discover the train station just in case we die. We have somewhere to fast travel to. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go to the train station. Although I will say this, I think that is AVR medical right there. Maybe. I don't really remember. So, well, it's around here somewhere. I know that for sure. Oh, God. Boys, run! Time to die. Not time to die. Time to run. Can I kill him? Mole rat. It's harder than you. Mole rats? <laughs> You're on drugs, bro. Give me the fucking ammo. Just stand I just shot him in the nuts. Oh, God. All right, I do have a Molotov. Was that good enough? It was. All right, good. At least I've discovered this place. Oh, they died. Very nice. Now, only if there was a, <laughs> a bed around here. We'll take that and that. Now I have 101 Dalmatians. I mean, what? Alright. I wonder if there's a bed around here because I really need to rest. So that I can heal. And no, it doesn't look like there's a bed. Shit. Okay. Question. Yes. Alright, cool. That's what I was to say. I was about to ask if... Uh, there was a workbench here. A weapons workbench specifically. Pipe pistol. No automatic barrels. Can we at least make this into a rifle? A grip. I mean, I guess we can. But this thing's almost broken anyways. And it only does 13 damage. Oh, this is terrible. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'd risk my chances with this crappy ass bolt action. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a settler. He killed a scorched or a feral ghoul. That's pretty cool actually. All right, let's go. That's definitely AVR right there. No, I'm not interested Priority in going to the church. Immediate evacuation of the first fringe church in Charleston is required due to swarming vermin. Brewing in this area does reveal salvage that well-equipped trained personnel can recover. Civilians should remain clear while the bells ring. Um, no thank you? Oh, I leveled up again. Let's clear everyone outside of AVR and then we'll level up. Actually, I think we can level up right here safely. Alright, so let's see. Strength. Got Pack Rat. That's not going to come in handy. Uh, crack Shot. No. None of this would be handy. 
Lone Wanderer is definitely handy. Nope. Through Hiker, no thank you. So far, uh, so far my choices are Action Boy and Lone Wanderer. Um, let's go with Lone Wanderer, man, because my damage resistance is pretty important right now. So right now, I think I have a two card. This is going to be three. Oh, I have a three card. This is going to be four. Hell yeah. So Lone Wanderer is complete. So next is going to be uh, put on things like Serendipity uh, because my luck is already at three and then Action Boy. So I think Action Boy is the next my next target. But the good thing is we finally made it to AVR. Got to be careful. Because we never know what's around us. Like this. Look at me sniping from close range. I don't know why I'm taking. Tattered dress? Sure, why not? Although it didn't have the thing to start the Mistress of Mystery thing. Probably, I don't know, maybe you have to be a certain level? I'm not sure. I gotta be careful though because, uh... Oh wait, I leveled up so... My thing is maxed. Alright, let's go ahead and go downstairs. Or inside, I mean. Do you already know there's gonna be a ton of Scorched here? You can tell because it was a Scorched down right outside. Let's see here. There's one right there. Can I hit him from here? But yes. Yes, I can. Shit. Damn it. Come on, baby peek. No? All right. Fuck. All right. You. No. Oh, what the fuck? I just shot at the pillar. Oh, come on. That guy's level six. Shit. Oh my god, dude. This is going bad in every way imaginable. Oh, come on. And I don't have any throwables either. Oh, you're next, buddy. Alright, that guy's done skis. Let's go around this way and get a little quick pop. Damn it, stop moving. Thank you. Um, hello? Is anybody alive out there? No? Fuck. Well, maybe this guy has a... Oh, this is a skeleton. What am I talking about? Um... Alright, let's check over here. Oh, this is a bathroom. I'm not trying to take a shit right now, alright? Not with all these scorched around. As I walk into another bathroom. Damn it! Nothing over here. What has crystal? I don't know. I really don't know. And I also need to check what... uh Everything I need to be able to craft fusion cells too. So that I can favorite those items. There's definitely someone right around here somewhere, dude. I can hear him walking and tiptoeing. Look at all this shit, dude. What the fuck? Microscope. 
I'm not here to pick up junk just yet. Right now I have more things to take care of. Or other things. Ah! I was about to say, are you going to die? Oh, shit! That guy came out of nowhere. Uh, it appears to be in this direction, so let's at least look in this direction. There they are. What? What do you mean, what? Oh my god. That was a great reflex shot. That one wasn't. Shoot, damn it. Oh, dude, I'm almost out of ammo. I guess I'm going with the pistol for now. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. This thing is sighted too, so... Should be easier to hit from farther. I can hear more of them. There he is. Goodbye. Um. Hello? There might be the guy that's downstairs, to be honest. Um, don't find. Sound like a freaking super mutant. Woohoo! Nope, definitely not you. Honestly, this is a better gun to use than that crappy freaking pipe bolt action rifle. What ammo does it use, anyways? 308. So I just picked up a little bit more 308, but. I need crystal, man. What has crystal? If you guys know what has crystal, let me know down in the comments down below, man. I really need to know so that I can keep my um, my rifle in tip-top shape. Inoculation project overview. Purpose. Produce a vaccine against the uh, mu mutagenic effect known as the Scorch Plague. Method. Extract blood samples from three candidate cre uh, creatures observed to be more resistant to scorched mu mutagenic effect. Uh, use blood sample analysis to create synthetic uh, antibodies. Candidate creatures, feral ghoul, mole rat, wolf. Is there no Scorch version of those? Come to think of it, I don't I don't think I've seen them. Maybe a wolf, but I'm not sure about a mole rat. Or maybe a mole rat, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a feral ghoul scorch though. Addendum. Project stalled until a replacement type T fuse can be acquired. Uh, request filed with responders quartermaster to obtain replacement. Alright, project journal. November 7th, 2096. Uh, we're too late. I failed. Uh, was on the radio with Maria just now. She never seen so many Scorch Beast. She says the sky above the airport's dark with them. They're not attacking. Not yet. Waiting on their scorched foot soldiers to arrive, maybe. Clever bastards. And of course, we're scrapping the bottom of the barrel on ammo and stims. So this couldn't come at a worse time. So what the hell do I do now? Down here, alone. I might eventually be able to finish this vaccine. I can't help the fire breathers anymore, but maybe someday the vaccine will save lives, assuming everyone's left, or anyone's left. If I can make it back to the airport, I could save lives today, or maybe tomorrow, or whenever uh, the battle comes. And it will come. Shit, I can't stay here. It might be suicide trying to make the trip on my own, but I can't turn my back on everyone I care about. I are not when they need me the most. Not when I'm the one who failed. T 
to play their part in our plan to stop the Scorch Beast before it came to this. If anyone finds this, then get those blood samples, load them into the centrifuge, and run the DNA analysis program. The rest is pretty automatic. Good luck to us both. October 20th, 2096. Um, damn it all, so close, and yet I'm stuck. Jeff's been out on foraging missions uh, pretty much around the clock, and I can't get in touch with him to request uh, help with the blood samples or the replacement fuse the fire breathers are almost ready for the big operation and i've got nothing to give them if they take on the scorched without being inoculated first i fear what might happen i have to confront the possibility that i might never get the chance to finish this work but maybe someone else can these journal entries uh should serve as a guide i'm Thinking I can also rig up the sim thematic uh, to play a message to anyone that's able to administer the inoculation once it's done. That way, if the worst happens, I can at least leave some kind of si signpost to help others benefit from what I've learned. To help them survive if, if maybe I don't. September 2nd, 2096. Thank God for autom uh, automation. I am one woman doing the work of a small research team. If not for the computers and machinery here, this project could uh, wouldn't have a chance. Speaking of the project, the creatures that show the most resilience to Scorched place, uh, Plague are the mole rats, feral ghouls, and wolves. If I can get a blood sample from each one I'll be a simple matter it'll be a simple matter to load them into the centrifuge and run the analysis program with the resulting data synthesizing antibodies should be pretty straightforward process add the sys the synthetic antibodies to the suspension fluid and presto instant scorch vaccine then it's just a matter of waiting on the phone call about my Nobel Prize for medicine. That's the good news. The bad news is this old systo symptomatic machine. I powered it on it and the damn thing blew a fuse right away. Jeff thinks there might be some type T fuses at the old mining supply store. Hopefully we can send someone to check soon. To hear Maria tell it, uh, to hear Maria tell it, those boys in the fire breathers unit are itching to take on or take the fight to the scorched, and they're counting on my inoculation to protect them. Damn. August 12, 2096. Uh short entry today. Why? Because I really only did one thing, and it wasn't research. No. My day was spent hiding from a pack of scorch that invaded the hospital this morning. Most of them stayed up on the ground floor, but a few wandered down here, and it's a good thing I heard them because I barely had time to hole up in the closet when they started searching around the lab. It occurs to me that we know almost nothing about the Scorched. What motivates them? Do they eat? Why are they hostile towards everything that isn't one of them? Eventually, the Scorched moved on. And by eventually, I mean nine hours later. I never want to set foot in a storage closet again. August 1st, 2096. Making good progress overall, at least with the preparation. At least with the preparation. Got the analysis program finished. And then, after no small amount of yelling, cursing, and kicking things, I finally got the terminal and the symptomatic... Uh, talking to each other. Well, that's a mischaracterization. It would be more correct to say that I got the terminal to scream orders at the sys symptomatic and I got the symptomatic to obey them. Now I get to pour over hundreds of first-hand accounts, personnel observations, and any other information we've gathered relating to how the Scorch Plague 
has been affected the local wildlife. If I'm lucky, a tenth of it might be useful. So now we come to it, the crux of my theory. If I can identify the creatures that seem least affected by the Scorch Plague, then maybe, just maybe, I can figure out why. Then with luck, uh, synthetic antibodies might not be far behind. Uh, July 6, 2096. Okay, here we go. One brave doctor taking on the mysteries of the Scorched. How heroic. Truth is, I'm alone. I'm more than a little terrified, and I'm skeptical this whole crazy idea with will even work. I think the fundamentals are sound enough, but once I start analyzing the Scorched DNA, who knows what I'll find or whether I'll even understand it. But I have to try. If I don't, all the people I care about are as good as dead. And if the Scorch start to spread, I don't even want to think about it. At least I can be grateful we found this lab. It has everything I need, provided I can get all the equipment working. Hey, I got this terminal reprogrammed, and that's a pretty good start. Speaking of which, I'd better start writing that analysis program. No time to... Damn. There's that scratching noise again. I thought we cleared the place out, but I swear there's something moving around in the upper levels. Guess I'd better work fast. Fuck. Analyze blood samples. I don't have the blood samples yet. But we're pretty much at exactly one hour, so we're definitely going to have to leave it here on this video. So in the next video, we're definitely going to go hunt down those three animals, come back and finish the inoculation project so that we can be immune of the scorch plague at least for a while i don't know if it's permanent but uh, i don't think they ever say if it's permanent maybe that's what inoculation means i don't know but with that being said thank you guys for watching don't forget to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next video deuces